everyone and welcome. Now, you may already know, but a Formula 1 car is expensive. Very expensive. But just how much does it cost? For starters, we can break down the costs into three categories. Material cost, manufacturing cost, and research cost. Starting with material cost. Formula 1 cars are mostly made of layers of carbon fiber, which is an extremely strong and light material, therefore incredibly expensive. You could easily have a front wing using up to $30,000 worth of carbon fiber and up to a million dollars worth of material for the rest of the body. Then you have all of the computers, sensors, fuel tank, brakes, a $50,000 steering wheel, a $500,000 transmission and an engine that costs a few million dollars. Next up is manufacturing. There's not really a parts shop that you can go and ask for a Formula 1 carbon fiber rear wing. Teams have to manufacture every bit of the car. It's hard to imagine all of the machines, ovens, hours that go into making these parts. The exception generally being the engine and the tires. Many of the teams have an engine supplier and Pirelli is the official tire supplier. Then we have research and testing. Millions and millions of dollars go toward research and testing every year. All Formula 1 components have been developed from scratch and have went through every bit of the process, from design, to prototypes, to testing, back to design, change a few things, back to testing. And for all that's worth, only a small percentage of these parts and components will actually reach the car that will compete on the track. All in all, the ready car will cost around 9 to 10 million dollars. This covered material and manufacturing, however, this is not all. The great majority of the Formula 1 expenses are actually from intangible costs. This being all the research, salaries, factory expenses, fuel, freight, and many, many more. Formula One is a top tier of racing. Manufacturers spent every cent available to improve the car in every way possible. They spent millions to shave off just a few tenths of a second. That is the nature of the sport. Major teams have to spend in the likes of three to four hundred million dollars every year in order to stay competitive. It is not uncommon to see entire teams being sold and bought, exchanging owners to stay alive, or straight up going bankrupt and disappearing. This is Racer Thoughts. Thank you for watching.